Well, Peter, one point from the August Bank Holiday weekend. Not, pro not pro obviously not what we were looking for. Um, how do you see it? How do you see it's gone? No, it's not what we're looking for. Um, and things aren't going the way we want. But the only way we're going to get out of that is work a little bit harder. Um, I think teams have come here and been quite resilient, um, which they've tried to do today. We've got the breakthrough. And we just couldn't hold on to it, and we needed to be better holding on to it. So, and again, you know, both goals are two set pieces. Um, so it is, it's always going to be tight. But we need to, we need to be a little bit better defensively, without doubt. So, there's lots of little things we could pick up on today, and you know, like I said, you could, you could list it. You know, as long as your arm and, and things don't go well. But you know, we, we need to work a little bit harder, and we're going to have work on the training ground harder, and we're going to, you know, try and put it right. That's anything that's going to get about get us out of this. This little bit of form that we're in that's not quite where we want to be right now. Good, good. Uh, just looking at Saturday's game, good spirit to come back after losing the goal and a, and a goalkeeper. And, um... Yeah, we did. Um, you know, it was again a, a game that we we thought we were well in, um, and then again a little lapse in concentration, and it cost us again. And that seems to be the way it's going at the moment. So obviously, it's hard to practice lapsing concentrations on the pitch on the training ground because this is down to individual little mistakes at times. Um, and it, it's, it's tough because you know every team is is going to be out there to try and you know shoot you down and and to work hard and make it tough for us without actually coming out and overplaying. And then when we chase the game, we find ourselves under constant attack, if you like, you know, constant breakaways because we're trying to break teams down and we have to commit bodies forward sometimes. And at the moment, we're not quite getting the balance right. Yeah, their second goal today came from an attack, didn't it? Quick yeah, exactly. Yeah, the third goal the same. Yeah. You know, after that, but then after that, we're two one down. We're trying to get back in the game and. You know, and we're trying to get a draw out of the game, and you know sometimes it's better to lose three than two. We pushed on to try and get the equaliser, but we shouldn't have been in that position in the first place. We were, you know, apart from maybe one or two little mistakes that we caused ourselves during the game, we were pretty comfortable. I think I don't think they really opened us up. It was us making mistakes that that was really costing us. But you know, we go one nil up, and you know they changed, they tried to change it. We tried to change it to to accommodate that, and unfortunately it didn't work. But we more disappointed is we've been done by a set piece, which is straight down the middle of us, and we've not dealt with it. So that's really disappointing. How were you seeing the game before the first goal went in? Because it was fairly fairly even. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was fairly even. I think we they came to try and block us out and hope that their front two could cause problems. We try and get everybody in the team involved in the build up play to get the ball from back to front reasonably quickly, but through the you know through the stages of the field. Um, and you know we were finding it tough to break him down. We had a great chance with Jamie in the first half, a great little chance he hit just wide, um, and then Jesse had one when he squared it to him, and he just couldn't quite get his toe on it. You know, and we could have been two 0 at half time. It wasn't to be. They had we had one cleared off, cleared off the line as well. So like I said, so it was pretty even right up until the goal, and we did say it might be a one niller, um, but obviously it didn't turn out that way. We got the goal and. And we maybe took a step backwards, and you know we watched we watched the game, and we'll watch it again. It's 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 easy to come in straight after a game and be highly critical, but I think we need to look at look at the game on the on the video highlights and see exactly where you know we can be better, um, and try and make sure that we do it um, that we do it constructively rather than just come in and you know kick teacups and throw stuff around. We're disappointed, bitterly disappointed, but. We have to bounce back now. We need to find some real leaders and characters in that dressing room, and we've got to try and bounce back and you know get some points on the board Saturday. Changing goal today was that a reaction to the sending off on, on Saturday? No, not necessarily. I think I think one of them is a, it's a you know it could have been a flip of a coin decision. You know we've got a Tom's going to be suspended. Alan hasn't had much game time. You know we've got to trust every member of the squad. Alan you know has got plenty of experience in the league above. Um, and you know I think as a group we just felt that it might be worth giving him 90 minutes today and getting ready for. Obviously, you know, in two weekends' time when Tom's going to be, you know, it gives Alan two games, I think, before before he's suspended. So, and he needs that game time to be ready. So, you know, and you look at today and what he did, he did well today. And the goals, you know, probably, you know, no one's going to save them with the chance from where they were. So, so yeah, that was more about, you know, making sure that he's prepared when the suspension comes, that, that he's fit and he's ready to go. And Matt Lock, winning central mid starting in central midfield. Yeah, again, looking to move it around a little bit with someone with maybe a bit more experience in there who could talk it through. And again, for long periods, it worked quite well, you know. And uh, but they changed their shape to deal with us. We then changed our shape to start the second half to see how they would react, and it worked. You know, it worked for us. We started well again second half, and again up until the goal, we were in control of the game. They hadn't really caused us a problem defensively. We looked quite sound, and then we get the goal, and then we take a step backwards and take our foot off maybe and. 
one set piece at the other end and then we are hanging on because their tails are up and there's five minutes to go and they've got nothing to lose and you know we're pushing to get the winner and they break away and, and punish us unfortunately but like I said we've got to bounce back and you know we'll look at the game staff will look at the game from today and we'll move forward from there and, and try and put it right for the next one. And trip to Norbans next week uh, will bodies, bodies like to come back Callum Hart, Dale Beans? Uh, Dale well, you know, Dale was on the bench today um, but again right wasn't quite used so Callum's Callum came through some game time Saturday um, we'll see if hopefully he'll be okay for next week and and we'll wait and see but you know no, no other injuries other than that at the moment and we'll just look to put it right Saturday okay